What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is Saturday at 6 p.m. and uh, there should be maybe some uh, some new... Why are people always do that at 6 p.m. and they don't know, it doesn't go through the video. You guys wouldn't have seen what that, but people always sub, don't they? They always sub at, uh, at 6 p.m. So I don't think there's anything new in season objectives. That's fine. Well, it's not really fine. I wish there was, uh, wish there was more. Uh, but let's have a look at who won the fan vote from the last time around. And there you go. It was Paul Pogba, 95 rated, two segments required. Uh, the Futmas Challenge is still there. The Shapeshifters Challenge is new. One Prime Electron Players Pack and two Rare Gold Players Pack. Um, let's see. For that, uh, like honestly, a gold team only. 80 rated. Yeah, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. But like... What I don't understand about these ones, right? When it's for a prime Electrum Players Pack, that means you get six rares, uh, six golds, six silvers, right? That's just not a great pack. You know, six rares, six golds, six silvers. You can get a prime Electrum Players Pack from League SBC grinding for like 2k or 3k. So the fact that they're charging that much is a bit crazy. The League 1 team of the season so far guaranteed is also here. Uh, and this is going to be another 84 rated squad. That's not bad at all. Um, and then that is, that is it. That is it. So let us go and have a look at what this Pogba looks like in game. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot, high medium, six three with a flare trait. I mean, you know, let, let's, let's put aside Pogba, the five stars, the four stars. When looking at this, now... All stats are high level, but when looking at this, his acceleration is low, which is the more valuable out of acceleration and sprint speed. His finishing is low, which is, again, one of the more valuable stats out of shooting for players inside the box. Of course, for players outside the box, shot power and long shots are where it's at. So finishing at 86 is still passable, especially if you play him at center mid or cam, which most, probably pe most people probably will. His passing is absolutely brilliant. Uh, his agility and balance are a little bit low, but again, because he's not an attacking player, specifically a striker and a winger, um, I don't think that's too bad. And, and based on what I see here, maybe the, the chem style we could give him would be great. His defending is nice and then his physical is brilliant, but the aggression is a little bit low. Um, with that being said, that is a spectacular card. I'm not trying to downplay the card. Um, I think it's brilliant. It looks It looks great. Uh, and two squads, so it's going to be an 84-rated squad with a Man United pack player for a, for a Primex Players pack, and an 88-rated squad with 50 chemistry and one one uh, Premier League player for Rare Electrons Player pack. That is cheap compared to some of the other um, SBCs. That is cheap. Vidal is 286s. I think Pulp was probably about as cheap, if not cheaper, than Vidal. Um, Let's go and build the League One guaranteed so far. We'll go and have a look at Pogba on the fuck bin and have a look at what his stats are. Uh, I need to just get acquired date, new, untradeable on. Uh, and let's get Barrera and Romero in there, which is nice. Let's get Onana in there, which I needed. Uh, we can put Soyuncu in there. All these untradeables, always nice. Even Kolarov, man. I don't know why. I hold on to Kolarov because he's an inform. I don't need to hold on to Kolarov. Kolarov? Kolarov. Uh, I don't know what the chemistry was here. We're going to pop in as many of the uh, lower rated goals as we've got. Starting to finally get my club a little bit stacked up again. Um, we've got a fair old whack of Premier League players that we could pop in together here. So we are well, well above the rating, which is obviously good news. Um, let's pop him in there. Let's pop him there. Uh, so Saul can actually stay. Let's pop him in there. That takes us down. Let's pop him in there. That's That keeps us. That's quite interesting. What do we need? 65 chemistry. So if we put Harry Maguire in there and then get uh, Saul the chemistry there. Um, we put Coyote in there. That's 56 rated. What else have we got? That's still... That's, that's 84 rated, that is. That's crazy. Um, if we go like... I mean, like that anyway gives us the chemistry. We are just higher rated than we need to be. And still, that's nuts. 
and still we can uh, get a little bit more chemistry out of that there and a lot more chemistry out of that there to the point where we can now take out Saul or say Zapata no Saul there hey that that's calm for me we're using the the um the Sudamericana uh cards to get the league one team of the season another 84 rated squad for it so it's the same as the last three uh to be fair and let's have a look I want to have a look what promo packs are there as well right now because uh, if it's mega packs, ooh, premium gold player packs, 25k a pop, guys. I know there's a lot of special cards. Um, I know there's a lot of special cards in packs, but I think, I'm not too sure here. I think um, we get an 83 Buffon. I think 25k for this level of pack, I think you'll struggle You'd, you'd have to hit like a big player out of one of the packs just to, uh, you know, just to just to make your money back. Uh, you know, if you hit a 50, 60K pack player, it only counts for two packs. So I would personally like mega packs I love, prime gold player packs I hate, rare election player packs I think would be quite good. But I think the 25K packs, let's just see if we can get something out of the second pack. Yeah, two back-to-back -back packs, no board. Well, we got before 83 rated, but you know what I mean? Like just no no big special card there. Um, so we'll struggle to get our coins back off of that. And uh, for that reason, I'd say ignore those. Let us have a look, though, guys, at um, the League One team of the season so far player. We want to see French or Brazilian and nothing else. And then after French, if it's French, we want to see Mbappe. Come on, EA. What you got? What you got? Oh, my, oh my days. It, I mean, I've talked about this a fair bit. And I'll talk about it again now, right? The Pogba, these these SBCs, the lot, right? It is... This game, let, let me just read you guys a tweet of mine, okay? The tweet says, somebody said to me... Somebody said to me about uh, icon swaps and how bad they are. And I've made my point on that. And somebody else responded, said, I agree. However, I think now would be a prime time to release maybe an icon swap pack for 92 plus players. So, you know, so you've got a better chance of hitting the big valuable prime icons and icon swaps in itself is just another whole whole nother story maybe we can have a debate about another time um and i responded saying it's of my personal opinion that the gameplay and the subs subsequent game modes in far are so bad that ea could release a full team of 99 rated sbcs and it still wouldn't bring me back to play in the game itself here's hoping fifa 21 has better balance and more replayability and whilst getting abdel hamid here it just exposes two problems with this game first of all I mean, we are in the middle of July, and I know this is like a crapshoot, it's a lottery, it is the gamble, right? But there are probably, I mean, what's he, what's he valued at? 30k or less. There are probably 50 centre-backs better than him in the game that people already have. And so it kind of it's kind of like, well, what value does he have for me? But then I also think, you know, if I hit Neymar or Mbappe... I still wouldn't play this game because the gameplay and the game modes that are available to play in just suck. Um, and so, yeah, I really, really hope. I'll, I'll still review the content every day for you guys. We'll still get the pack opening videos in and stuff, you know. Um, but I, I think... Jesus, why is that so small? What's wrong with Footbin? I just think EA just need to do a better job. With this game so we've got Paul Pogba coming in um we've also got a couple new other bits of content here today which is the guaranteed team of the season so far pack which is going to cost you about 70k uh we'll have a look at how much is there the shapeshifter see what I mean don't do this guys it's coming in at almost 20,000 coins for uh the shapeshifters challenge and that gives you a prime election players pack and a two red gold players pack it's just not worth it it's, it's just not worth it um let's go and have a look at uh at the team of the season so far so about 70k for the league one pack um if you get kamara andre rakovic abel abdel hamid slimani savanier or ossiemen you're losing see that even ossiemen we're going to take a look at him uh lala would be a dub in terms of the value but probably an l because you might already have him or better players atal would be a dub I, even though he's only 300k i think he's a quality player and would be okay mandanda is an l marquinhos 
and Silva. I, I wouldn't say a dubs or L's. Or I'd say they're probably closer to L's and dubs. Alwar and Verratti, look at that. Alwar again, 100K. Depay, 100K. Di Maria, 100K. Goddamn. You need to hit Neymar and Bappe or Ben Cheddar to make this worthwhile. And when we look at like Aussie men, 50K. This is a 70K pack. Look how good this card is, right? It, like you are, ba they, they might as well just give you a chance of Mbappe, Neymar or Ben Yedder. If not, just give you like a 50K pack, a tradable 50K back back or something. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, like when the pack opens, you either get a 50K pack token show up or one of those three players because all the rest of the players are just, you could just afford them basically. Like it's crazy. So Aussie men for me, what a player. And if you got him, 50K. Uh, Alwa, only a little bit more expensive than the pack itself and an absolutely insane player. Memphis Depay, Okay, he's got a three-star weak foot, but he's got five-star skill moves. Um, and, you know, another insane player uh, for 100k. Di Maria, five-star, three-star as well. But for me personally, this Di Maria card is brilliant um, for 100k. And so, I don't know, man. This, this team of the season SBC, again, if it was repeatable... Then all of a sudden, there's some value there because you get back, worst case scenario, an 87 to go into an 84 rated squad. Best case scenario, you get like Thiago Silva and you're like, let me put him back in, put some regular golds in and try again. That time you get our, let me put him back in, put some regular golds in, try again. Repeatable team of the season here, calm, yeah? You, got, you just keep shooting your shot until you eventually get one of these players or run out of coins and players. But as a non-repeatable... As a non-repeatable, my timeline is crazy. It's just three Pogba's in a row. As a non-repeatable, it's just it's just pointless. It is, it is literally just pointless. Uh, so when we look at Pogba, as I say, his balance, his acceleration, and his aggression for me, and his finishings are standouts. Uh, the first chem style that I would be drawn to is the engine chem style. It gives five acceleration. It gives 10 balance and five agility. Maxes out his passing. His shooting is very good. Um, Marksman isn't really good enough for the... The, um, the reactions, but it's very good for agility. I think Marksman is probably the one. Unless you want to play him as a defensive minor midfielder. I personally think even if you even with a Marksman as a secondary CDM, I still think that's acceptable. I would probably play him at a cam uh, as a cam with with uh, with Marksman or as a cam with engine. Personally, I'll go with Marksman because then five star, four star, great sprint speed, but a little heavy on acceleration. Uh, it boosts his agility up a bit. May, maybe a sniper, actually, if you're going to play him at cam. Um, he's just... I, I, I personally, and, and hopefully I'm wrong, but I personally think we're going to have a very awkward um, situation with Pogba where he just he's one of those players that's insane stats-wise, but just feels heavy. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'd like to be proven wrong, um, you know, and, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get hold of him and go and play with him in game myself. We're still waiting for some uh, boosted cards for draft as well. But there you go, guys. So let me know. Are you going to do Pogba or not? Comments uh, in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.